Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for October 8th, 2020. So yesterday, we had a big reversal rally with hopes of $1,200 checks um, being dangled um, in front of the market. The bulls really surged toward that hopefulness, and they're looking to extend that this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's take the emotion out of this let's look at the uh, technicals of the charts and see how we might want to approach the market today with the thursday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning we're continuing to see those hopes those those bulls really smelling um that those $1,200 checks as the president came out and said he would support a standalone bill to issue $1,200 direct payments to citizens once again for coronavirus relief and also um, supporting a $25 billion um, package for airlines. So now the big question is and even though the market is rallying really really strongly the big question is can congress get that done will congress get that done uh, prior to the election it also means that what that what we have here is we have the market surging on an unknown again um you know fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me and as you can see, we could be fooled again um, in this rally should Congress fail. And there is some question whether they're going to be able to come together and get a deal uh, done prior to the election. We have opened the door for another potential whipsaw. So surging up really, really strongly, we're going to have to be really on our toes and focused here because this big surge up, should there be one tweet? another news report, we could easily see um, that reversal come back into the downside. So be really careful how you trade this. Um, I hate to see people damaged by this, but we seem to be willing to be led around um, by the market news rather than trading responsibly. We just want to surge both directions. It's an all or nothing market and very, very emotional. So be extremely careful in how you're trading. Make sure you're not over trading. Make sure you're not chasing. In any trades that you take, make sure you understand very clearly the risks that you're taking in those trades. Because if a reversal occurs, we, we saw just yesterday, I mean, the day before, before yesterday how quickly that can reverse um, with just one derogatory comment um, in a tweet or um, even a news report so watch that closely let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart price action wise we pushed up yesterday right back into that price resist whoops right back into that price resistance level in the chart and we were testing it pretty hard here on the day so we'll want to keep a close eye on that as um, we approach the morning now right now we have futures surging to the upside right now futures are bullish we're looking at a 179 point gap right now in the Dow futures again all fueled up on hopes of stimulus but no assurance of stimulus and let's keep in mind we still have to face um, the um, jobless claims yet this morning so there could be a significant amount of volatility yet prior to the market open so watch that closely so if we can break on through and there is some technical reasons to have some bullishness here um, holding on to our whoops that's a two-day holding on to our 50-day moving average and pushing back up so we came back we tested that 50 um, responded back up with you know a 500 point rally that means that any any stop loss any reversal on a bad news point leaves a big open place where we could fall so kind of keep that in mind when you're planning your risk but the bulls are trying to follow through on those stimulus hopes here this morning. 
So watch that closely and carefully. Trade wisely here. Be careful not to over trade or chase um, in the market. One thing you do have to say clearly is we've broken this downtrend. We're trying to rally up through this price resistance. So should we be able to get up here and prove to hold? We're in a pretty bullish pattern overall in the chart. So watch that close. As long as that news doesn't shift, um, we have an opportunity to the upside. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Also doing the same thing, breaking that downtrend, um, holding yesterday right in there um, above at 50 day moving average, but we did push up right into the price resistance of the chart. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, although we're poking up here this morning, we still have that potential, particularly with those jobless numbers this morning, that we could see um, that resistance up here. Don't rule out the possibility of a pop and drop, and I'll show you why in just a few minutes. Let's take a look at the queue. QQQ also showing a bit more weakness yesterday, rallied up nicely, but a bit more weak, excuse me, weakness. And we had that report that some of the big techs were, were going to be facing antitrust issues. Um, House Democrats issued a statement saying big changes should come soon on um these big ta techs. I don't know exactly what that means, but it means that they're under review and under attack. So watch that resistance level up here. As we push up, if those big techs have trouble rallying, it's going to be difficult for um, the NASDAQ itself to rally. They carry such a big heavy weight. So Keep a close eye on Microsoft, Facebook, Apple, um, those kind of uh, Google. Those will be pretty important. Although Microsoft isn't part of that antitrust thing, it's it's um, those others um, in there. But kind of watch that pretty closely. Um, if we were to um, take a look at this technically without the big whip, notice we had this big ugly whipsaw down, whipsaw up, whipsaw down, whipsaw up. So we cannot rule out the possibility if there is some kind of a news event or something, a disappointment that occurs, another whipsaw down. Can't rule that out and just notice that it's pretty deep in that movement. So be really careful um, how you approach the market today. Bullishness right now showing and the markets really want to be bullish, but there's still that uncertainty out there. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, I'm extremely bullish, um, moving up um, much more than I would have expected. I ended up closing an IWM credit spread for a loss on this, um, expecting that resistance up in the chart to do its job, and it didn't do its job. We had a nice little move, um, follow through move in financials and oil sector trying to move up. So that's helping out the index here a lot. IWM kind of coming, um, coming up. So if we can break through this resistance up in here and actually hold it as support, I would say it, it's a bullish sign that we're finally going to get the Russell involved here in the market and maybe turn around and become even one of the market leaders. Watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX is still very, very perplexing. A 500 point move yesterday in the Dow and notice that the VIX uh, barely pulled back. We're still bounded by that 200 day moving average. We haven't been able to break down through the 500 day average. And I got to tell you guys, I've, I've repeated this well, several times before. I have never seen new market highs with the VIX this high. Doesn't mean it can't happen. I've just not seen it. And it is extremely unusual. And I'm not exactly sure what that means. But I will suggest that when we have a VIX, um, hovering in the uh, between 30 and 25 and we're trying to press for new highs it means there's a lot of volatility in the market a lot of potential danger so be careful how you're trading it be careful racing and allowing the market to just kind of lead you around um, with these big emotional swings be very very careful let's take a look at t2122 the four week new high new low ratio and this is where my major concern comes in if you take a look at t 2122 and you pull this back as far as you want to pull back when we reach up here into these levels up in here we have that we run that risk 
of the pullback, of a pullback. Not that we just have to slam all the way back down. That's been kind of the market condition lately. We rip to the upside, we slam it back down, we rip to the upside, we slam it back down. And unfortunately, traders are having their accounts chopped to pieces in that kind of price action. Well, when we're back up here and we're pressing these highs and we're looking at a gap up open this morning, that's gonna push us right up here into this upper area of that bearish reversal zone here in T2122. It's showing us that we are overextended in the short term. Now, once again, that doesn't necessarily mean that we just absolutely have to crash back down. As a matter of fact, there's plenty of evidence in this chart where we have found times where we have lingered up in here. Maybe that's what we're going to do. But one of the things I want to echo out there, and I, I repeat this a lot of times when T21 is up in this area, this is one of those indicators where it's giving us clues on a gap up open like this morning it might be wise to take some profits if you have profits rather than buying long um, and chasing this move into such a high resistance level. So be careful here. T2122 is a very, very reliable indicator um, and has served me well for years and years and years. And when we reach these extreme levels, we have to be very, very careful. So watch that closely. And that's what I was meaning before as we gap up this morning heading into a job number that uncertainty that's ahead this could be one of those um, clues where we take those profits rather than chase into a, a market that could have a very deep reversal should a news event or something occur so just kind of take that in mind um, how you might want to approach the market for the, today I can tell you for my part I have absolutely no desire at this point in time to chase stocks higher. I want to see a, a rest or a pullback before I'm going to be too interested in doing that. I currently hold some nice bullish positions, some nice profits, and I may be considering those for potential profit taking today rather than adding additional risk up in this area. But that's me. You decide how you want to trade this. I'm just offering that up as a point of caution. Um, um, to be careful um, racing and allowing the market emotion to dictate your trading rather than a good solid business plan think about that carefully let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and we do have as I've been mentioning some things on the economic calendar that we want to pay attention to notice that we have over here this morning we have the jobless claims number Right now, consensus is expecting a little tiny decline in that jobless claims number. Um, unfortunately, we've heard about 28,000 folks being laid off by um, uh, Disney. We've heard about um, um, AMC theaters um, laying off 40,000 people. We've heard about oil sector laying off people. We've heard um, about um, um, certainly all of the airline potential layoffs. Is there a possibility that this number could start creeping back up? And I think there is a concern for that and we'll have to watch. If this number were to disappoint, we could see that market shift to the south pretty quickly. So let's watch that closely. That comes out before the market open. Um, if it comes in positive, we can continue to hold this bullishness maybe throughout the day. That would be awesome. But just kind of keep that in mind. That possibility does exist there. We also have a natural gas report and Fed balance sheet. Um, I've said this several times. Nobody cares about the Fed balance sheet. We know we're just running debt through the roof right now, and the market doesn't seem to care about that. Um, as long as we can keep the market up, that's all that matters. Um, so no one cares much about either one of these reports. Uh, just keep that in mind. And then we have... Um, several Fed speakers out there. So a lot of Fed talk continuing to uh, go on. We'll want to uh, pay attention to that. I doubt we learn anything new, but we'll want to pay attention to that. 
Every time a Fed may, member speaks, there is that potential of some volatility um, in the market. So watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now we do have a lighter day on the earnings. It's our heaviest day this week, but it's still a rather light day on the earnings calendar. Um, things we might want to pay attention to. Uh, PKE. PKE is one of the companies, um, it's already reported this morning, um, as you can see, trying to perk up. So we have this defense company. It's been holding in this little support level, a little bit of a downtrend in effect here. This morning, it's looking to perk up, however, and this might be a little higher low. This candle right here is the pre-market activity. So watch that right in there. PKE may try to break up a little higher here, um, may have some upside potential in it. Um, if you know the buyers continue to stay happy uh, with the morning open. Let's take a look at um, H-E-L-E. -E. Um, Helena Troy will be reporting today. Actually, it already has reported and is gapping higher this morning, as you can see in this candle pushing back up into some price resistance levels in the chart. Let's see if that can push on through. Kind of a theme right now. If you look at lots and lots of charts, we find ourselves just pushing prices right back up into price resistance levels. Not necessarily breaking through in a lot of them, but pushing up toward them which adds some danger in the market. So watch those close. We also have AYI reporting today, a verified report. Looks like it gapped up initially, but pulling back um, after that report this morning. So we have some price resistance in this chart to be aware of, and we're kind of uh, doing a little pop and drop type pattern here on AYI. CCL is supposed to report today. Let's keep a close eye on that. I can't imagine a good report from CCL here um, heading into um, uh, earnings uh, with all of the troubles uh, they have with coronavirus, but let's keep an eye on that. CCL, one you might want to pay attention to. Uh, DPZ, DPZ Domino's Pizza, um, one of the market favored stocks here during coronavirus, everybody buying their pizza online, but it looks like they've disappointed this morning. Um, big old pop and drop here happening so far on that chart, so watch that close. So that's kind of, uh, you know, the, uh, the verified stocks that I can see here that may be somewhat notable. So keep a close eye here on the market. A little bit of bouncing around. But the most important thing is going to be that jobs number here just prior to the open. So stay focused on that. So with that, everyone, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I post a video. And if you found this uh, video to be worthy, to be helpful in how you approach the market for the day, if you could please uh, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. It helps us to continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you so much who, uh, to everyone who does do that. I truly appreciate it. Also, please feel free to share these videos um, on any of your social media platforms. That also helps um, us to continue to grow. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and some good price patterns out there. You guys know that I have been talking about FedEx over and over and over and the potential here in FedEx and the story that um, um, a lot of folks buying online, getting very comfortable buying online. And you can see since this alert down here, we've just continued to climb here in FedEx and we trying to stretch that a little bit more yesterday to the up side pushing up. At this point, guys, I would wait for some kind of a rest or pullback um, in that chart and um, watch this trend because uh, FedEx is looking very, very strong. This could produce much more upside potential, I think, over the next few months. Um, keep that one on your list. Also, you should be watching UPS, and UPS really took off yesterday, popping higher. Had a, had a little try the day before, but with that market volatility, it pulled back and then just surged hard yesterday to the upside and getting some follow-through here um, this morning it looks like trying to push on up 
might want to keep a close eye on UPS looking really, really good. Um, another stock um, that's been monitored by several members of uh, the Right Way Options folks um, um, is this BLL, BLL, packing, containers, shipping, those kind of things, doing really, really well, surging up. I wouldn't chase this. The next rest or pullback would be an opportunity. This is a huge, massive breakout up here. So any kind of rest or pullback in here sets up an opportunity and then blue sky highs um, above could really provide some more upside. So watch that one pretty closely. Um, I mentioned um, W Day the other day, and I still like this chart in W Day. It pushed up through my alert, and as you can see, we're running up in this little trend. Had a little pullback here yesterday, but let's keep an eye on this. If this rests or uh, pulls back in here, could set up that next opportunity to the upside and the next leg higher, and we may be up here attacking these highs. And once again, another chart trying to push up toward resistance but we may be able to take advantage of that looking pretty good here might want to take a look at vmw vmw had a pretty decent day um popping through some resistance you see the this week we've been pushing up here in vmware and pushing back through this price resistance now the question getting up here is can this stock hold up in this area so if we can kind of hold up in this area hold that support maybe watch this trend Look for that next opportunity here in VMW. Nice potential chart to be keeping an eye on. Um, uh, take a look at NIO. NIO continues to set up in this very, very tight consolidation zone up here. I've placed an alert. As a matter of fact, yesterday I moved my alert a little bit tighter. And this morning we're seeing this bullishness in the market potentially pushing this up. So watch this in here. Pretty low risk entry with a stop loss underneath this area and that opportunity that NIO could start its next leg higher. Keep a close eye on that. Nike continues to perform really, really well after breaking through my alert. Moving on up in this trend, keep a close eye on Nike. And other retail out there, um, uh, retail seems to be quite strong and coming up in a lot of places. One I'm watching here for another opportunity is Walmart. You can see I had an alert right here, pop through. Now consolidating out over here toward this trend. And notice that the price action is tightening up. It's getting more and more and more concise as we pull back and, and rest in here. That sets up a really nice opportunity for an upside trade. So keep a close eye on Walmart. Well, I apologize, guys. I'm running a little bit long this morning on this video. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all of the best. Let's hope for some good jobless numbers and a follow through today. But let's be on our toes and be watchful for that potential, that next news report, that next shocking thing that could whip us all the way back down. Price support is a long ways away. So that adds danger to everything that we trade. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early.